Welcome to all time pre tutor. Today we will start with fraction. If you get this, if you want to get this video, you have to select this one in English and then open link. You will get this video. First, I am just giving the briefings of this. Okay. To learn the fraction problem very well, very simple. If you know the LCM better, so that means you have to practice LCM very, very good before starting or before learning the fraction. First, very important notes if it is a number is 7, then it in the mixed number you have to you can it can be written in this way. Okay, so you can you know these things, you can read this very well. Okay, I hope you will read it yourself. I'm not wasting time for this. What is the terms also? Just check here. One thing this is very important. 8 whole 5 upon 7 is equals to 8 plus 5 upon 7. A do no numbers. Both numbers are equal. But if it is a minus here, then it cannot be equals to this. You have to remember this. Okay. Now I am coming to this section. Okay. How to find the maximum and minimum? Which one is the larger number? Which one is the smaller number between two fractions? First case. Case 1. Case 1. Integer part not equal. Integer part. This is a mixed fraction is given. In mixed fraction is given. In mixed fraction, this is called integer, this is called numerator, this part is called denominator. So, this numerator part is equal, not equal. First case, this is not equal. If this is not equal, they don't need any tap purposes. You can write the answer straight away. Don't need to calculate anything, even in the example. 5 is greater than 2. 5 is greater than 2. So this fraction, this fraction is obviously greater than this fraction, whatever it is written here. This part are not important at all. This is the first case. If the integer part are not equal. What is more important? Don't need to go for any tougher method. Write the answer within one second. Now come to the case 2. Integer part equal, denominator parts equal. Integer part, these two part, integer part are equal as well as denominator part are equal. Got it? Just what is different? Difference is here in numerator part. In that case also, don't need to calculate any things. Write the answer straight away. Write the answer straight away. Because, because this is equal, this is, this is equal and then numerator part are equal. So, Now, numerator, this here numerator is 1, here numerator is 5. 1 is less than 5, 1 is less than 5. Yes, so 
this number is less than this number. One is less than five. Don't need to calculate any others. Just write this, the answer your state instantly within five seconds. Denominator part equal, integer part equal, only difference in numerator. Whichever is smaller, then that number is smaller. Okay, now coming to the third case. In third case, numerator integer part equal, but numerator part also as well as numerator part is equal. Just difference in denominator. In that case also, you can write the answer straight away. Don't need to calculate. Don't need to calculate. Why? 9 is greater than 6. 9 is greater than 6. So that's why it will be lesser. It will be 9 is greater. So that's why this number is lesser. Lesser than this. Just it is the twisted rules, reverse rules of this rule. In numerator, numerator is greater. If the numerator is greater, then the number will be greater. But in the denominator, if the denominator is greater, the number will be smaller. Why? It is told here. Okay. If a cake is shared between between nine friends or six friends will get the larger piece in six friends or nine friends okay so you can easily understand that obviously six friends group of six friends will get the larger piece than the nine piece so that's why if we divide by nine it will be smaller Got it? Now I am coming to the case 4. Typical step. What is say? Integer part equal. Integer part equal. Numerator not equal. Denominator not equal. This is not equal. Denominator part also not equal. In that case, you must have to go for the long process as your teacher said. No alternate. In, in this step, we must have to calculate the long process. Only in this case. If numerator not equal, denominator not equal. Okay. And here it is telling that practice hard to jump this step. You have to jump this step. You have to you have to practice so hard that you can write this step directly. Don't waste time for this step. Okay, so for this purpose, we can watch our trick video. Okay, so in this way, you can make the calculation. It is 3 by 18, this is 4 by 18. Now, 4 is greater, so that's why this is greater. Second number is greater. But in your exam, maybe this number will not be given. If it is not given, that means both are equal. Both integer part is equal. Don't worry. In your book, maybe number is given 1 by 6 and 2 by 9. Which one is greater? Which one is smaller? 
no matter 2 by 9 means 0 whole 2 upon 9 that means here also 0 here also 0 that means integer part are equal got it okay in this way now if you want to practice it there is a automatic program practices here okay now tell which one is the larger which one is the smaller obviously 7 is greater than 5 so this number is larger straight away go bottom and it is telling the answer is straight away integer part not equal so write the answer straight away all time free tutorials it will help instantly don't need to waste your time now change here also integer part not equal once again change now integer part equal numerators not equal denominators not equal so what we have to do we have to go for case 4 that means larger step we have to calculate 1 by 5 and 2 by 9 which one is the larger okay so calculate it in your copy and then at the below just check the answer whether it is right or wrong you can correct it yourself Okay, thank you very much.